Hi, Natalie here. Can dry fire training make you a better shooter? We are going to find out on this video. I'm about to head to the range to test my skills with speed and accuracy using live fire. Then for the next two weeks, I'm going to use a dry fire training system called Shooter Make Ready. I'll be practicing about 10 minutes a day for two weeks, and then I'll head back to the range to test my skills and see what improvements I've made. So let's go. I'll be taking five shots at three different targets and measuring the time in between each shot with this timer made by Pat. Shooter, make ready. It's day one of the experiment. I have four targets here. They come in packs of two, and they came already charged, but you can also charge them. I'll be using a search training pistol, which has a laser, and the Shooter Make Ready app. Accelerated Firearms gifted me these targets. They come in packs of two, and they sent four. They also lent me the cert gun for this duration of the project. I thought it would be good to do a test that has measurable results so we can see what the numbers say. And for the sake of time, I won't be showing you clips from every day that I practiced, but I'll show you enough so you can see each mode that I practiced in. After turning on the targets, open the Shooter Make Ready app on your phone and choose the setting that you'd like. There are several different training modes, including a built-in shot timer like the one I used at the range. You'll see these different modes as I'm practicing in the video. When all the targets have a number, click Start to begin. I'm noticing that the targets that have more detail, you have to hit twice. And then here's the one with less detail, you only hit that once. <laughs> Disqualified? Why? It appears the sunshine is activating the target. It's day two. Time to practice. all my gear set up from yesterday so here we go 
Okay, I'm going to use the react mode to measure how long it takes to draw the gun from a holster and get the first shot on the target. Hey guys, I'm on my way to the range after 14 days of dry fire practice and I'm going to see how it's affected my skills. Hopefully they got better. Just like before, I'll be putting five shots into three different targets to measure speed and accuracy. Your make ready. Shooter make ready. Shooter make ready. Maybe. Okay, now look at this. Okay, so here are the times. We're going to go home and um, calculate the scores for all of my targets and see if I improved. <laughs> I can't wait to see. <laughs> it's time to compare the targets and times to see if I've improved. Okay, so let's talk about this experiment. On, on day one, I went to the range and shot three targets, five shots on each target, just to see how fast I could go and my accuracy. For a period of two weeks, I practiced with the Shooter Make Ready app and training system made by Accel Accelerated Firearms Training. My intention was to practice 10 minutes a day for two weeks and then go back to the range and do the same test again. Now I will say there was a period of time where I took a break. So I did practice one week, took a little break, and then practiced another week. There were days that it was just too fun and I couldn't stop, so I did practice a little bit more than 10 minutes. Okay, so when I went back to the range, I shot the same test. I figured out the average of time between each shot for each day that I went to the range. My speed on day one was an average of 1.7 seconds in between shots. The second day of the range, it was 1.2 seconds per shot. So my speed did get faster. As far as accuracy, I measured from the center of the X to the center of the bullet hole in centimeters to get the average of distance away from the center of the target. My accuracy on the first day was 2.8 centimeters, and the second day at the range was 3.3 centimeters. So my accuracy did go down a little bit. However, I compared my best five shot strength from each day, and on day one, it was two centimeters. and day two, it was 1.15 centimeters. So I did get better on my best strengths. And I'll show you that here. I'll blow them up so you can see. So the big question is, would I recommend this product? I would say yes. There's some pros and cons to it. There's not recoil in this system, so I wouldn't say this is the only practice you should do. You should still go to the range. Um, also, there's a laser that comes out of here, and it's possible that you could start relying on the laser too much to see where the shot is. Um, that was just something to be aware of. The pros far outweigh the cons. First of all, it pushed me to go faster which I don't always do at the range. It opened my eyes to training questions that I had, which I can take now to a trainer and ask about. Okay, 
I, it was fun. So I practiced a lot more and I didn't have to pay for ammo. So I probably, I did save a lot of money. Plus, not every range lets you draw from concealment and shoot the target. So this was a good way to practice that at home safely. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And because I found myself getting a little competitive with myself and working harder. Yes. It was also really nice that the app had different modes that you could practice in. So one mode might be really good for drawing from concealment and seeing how quick you could get a shot on the target. Another mode called friend or foe, it was more like a real life scenario. So it helped you think about what am I shooting? Should I or should I not shoot this thing? I really do think that dry fire training improved your skills and I enjoyed working with this system. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and if you liked it, make sure to like and comment below. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more videos from Elegant and Arm. I'll see you next time.